So here's an interesting stat. 96% of you that are watching my videos are not subscribed. Please subscribe. It'll help me bring more content to you guys. But in any case, today we got some snatching to do and some running. So let's get to it. up guys good little workout today i'm um, sorry i'm in a little bit of a boomy room right now i'm in my room because we're being <laughs> um taken out by management because there is mold in my room and uh yeah with the, with the baby here this has got to be um cleaned out real quick so today i had to leave the gym and uh we got informed of this and blah, 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 blah. long story short we're good to go but we started off very simple like we always do a good little warm-up and then right after we went ahead and we did a couple of snatches. We started in the power position with a deficit. So what I like to do is put 245 plates at the bottom. We did a power snatch and then an overhead squat. So we did that twice. And again, we start 50, 60, 65. And then we progress to a snatch pull from a deficit, same thing. Um, but now we started at 70% and we worked up to, to 80%. And more, more than anything, this is just volume that's accumulating over time. Shortly after, 
we did squats, back squats. Um, it was 50% and 60% of our born rent max of our clean and jerk. So that's nice to kind of start introducing the back squats. That's why they're. That's why this has been programmed programmed in this way. And it was all the way to the bottom and holding the squat and then pushing out, going all the way to the bottom and pushing out. So those are very useful, I think. Um, to know where your position is properly at. But they really help out with that. And then at the end of the workout, um, I switched it up a little bit because of the exercises that were written into the program by Dorothy were not something that I particularly had an issue with, but I felt like I needed to work on some other stuff that day. And I went ahead and I did the Russian twist. Those are great. Went ahead and did those with the kettlebell. And then I did um, planks and then um, side to sides on that plank. So just one side, laying the hip kind of rock. I'm not sure what those are called, but I like doing those. They really do work out my, my core um, in a different way. And it's not like we need to work out the core massively, especially if you are a power athlete of any kind, you need to do a lot of abs. If you're a bodybuilder for aesthetic purposes, if you want to carve them in a specific way, yes, it's the same thing. If you add uh, super heavy weights, it's like any other muscle. If you want to train them, if you want to make them bulky, you train them heavy. If you want to go ahead and train them for power, you go ahead and you lift heavy with them. So I really don't like to train abs much, but it is because of my heavy squats. It is because of my heavy cleans. It is because of my snatching. It is because of my Muay Thai. All these things uh, already gave me a pretty thick core. That's why I will never have that little V taper uh, with a super small waist, I just don't. I look like a block, and it's because I have a really big uh, core. My core is just massive, you know? I'm sure my abs can be a little bit more ripped. Uh, <laughs> working on that right now at the moment, but not the goal. But in any case, guys, I gotta leave. I'm on baby duty right now, and then I'm falling asleep.